Lanka Premier League 2023. His Excellency Mr. Faris Haddad Zervos, Mr. Alejandro Alvarez, uh, Mrs. Zamila Dahanayake, Mr. Peter Mosley and uh, a whole group of uh, World Bank uh, officials and representatives were so kind enough to be the listening post to give a hearing for close upon two hours uh, for the MSME sector uh, of Sri Lanka. So once again, I would like to thank you from the bottom of my heart for expending your very valuable time to this particular exercise, which I hope would have uh, enlightened all of you to the current thinking, uh, the major obstacles, grievances and challenges uh, faced by the MSME sector uh, in our country. As I said before, uh, this is a non-political or apolitical attempt uh, on the part of the opposition to strive and make a positive contribution by establishing a direct dialogue between the international financial institutions and the MSME sector. Uh, I would propose uh, uh, Your Excellency uh, Mr. Zervos uh, to establish a machinery uh, within the World Bank structure here in Sri Lanka, uh, a structure which enables uh, consistent and persistent uh, consultative procedures, uh, whereby you would be able to invite the stakeholders in the MSME sector uh, for continuous consultations, uh, so that you are also aware in, in formulating your own policies that you get the input uh, from the society uh, as a whole. So you will be directly working with the government, but you would also be working with the various stakeholders uh, for the purposes of which you all provide your uh, facilitatory programs, such as easy access to cheap credit. Um, I'm sure uh, you would have noticed the humongous amounts of bottlenecks that exist. Your good self provide the funding in good faith, assuming that these low interest credit would be passed on to the potential recipients in the MSME sector. But the reality, the ground reality is uh, the expectations that you have with these programs are not quite achieved uh, when it's implemented at the ground level. So um, I, I think you, have, you listen to uh, uh, a variety of ideas and uh, opinions, uh, and I hope uh, you uh, will take uh, all these suggestions in good spirit and try to see uh, where you can help and facilitate. So just last, uh, I would like to once again reiterate um, in devising your programs, uh, it is the expectation of the MSME sector that either World Bank individually or uh, in a united sense, in a collaborative manner with other IFIs, uh, try to have an integrated program whereby some short-term support, uh, whether it's demand-side support, or supply side support. Uh, it could be direct financial support or it could be financial support uh, to uh, create system stability, uh, which may create the environment uh, for uh, the parat executions to be de uh, delayed for a specified time period. Uh, so the, 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 the immediate and urgent need uh, is for the SME sector to have some sort of a uh, financial boost uh, so that they stay alive as businesses. And uh, I'm uh, positive and uh, sure that uh, uh, you as the World Bank will do your very best um, in order to achieve these uh, very uh, noble causes uh, of su supporting the MSME sector. Once again, reiterating the fact that uh, they contribute 50%, uh, they contribute uh, as a proportion 50% to the
to the gross domestic product uh, of Sri Lanka. And furthermore, uh, it employs millions of people um, throughout the country, irrespective of uh, geographical uh, caste, community, religious uh, or ethnic considerations. So thank you very much and uh, we deeply appreciate your time and uh, uh, please do uh, try to uh, establish a, uh, a consultative framework uh, for continuous consultations with the MSME sector uh, and also do take into account the various grievances that were expressed here and try to formulate some program that would be of uh, benefit in the near term for these MSMEs, most of which are um, struggling to survive. Thank you very much.